Hello everybody, how are you guys? Hi Flyers Tag Team back here with another video again today. It's really late at night, I'm on my sleep in medicine, so I'm kind of half asleep. So I'm sorry if there's, you know, if you guys don't, whatever. <laughs> um, just real quick though, uh, I'm not going to put too much heavy, heavy editing into this video, so I can kind of just get it out there. But as of tonight, um... We got confirmation that Warner Brothers will be having an hour and 45 minute panel at CinemaCon uh, 2020. This is marked for March 31st and like I said it's going to be an hour and 45 minutes and it's supposed to be for them up uh, kind of just like talking about and revealing their upcoming blockbusters. Well, I say it's pretty safe to assume we're this where we're, we're going to get our Godzilla vs. Kong trailer. Um, especially since we, the last panel they were at, I believe it was just the last panel they were at, and they haven't been to any other, and they won't be any, until any of this. They already showed Godzilla vs. Kong footage, and kind of promoting the movie, even though it wasn't publicly shown, it was still released to that expo. And with Adam Wingard's recent words of saying, get, just give him a few more months or whatever, and now we got, like, news articles and stuff, and magazine stuff starting to report on the film and such. And like I said, Wingard's talking about how kind of in the home stretch, and I would say it's pretty safe to assume this will be our trailer date, uh, March thirty first. Uh, I don't know what time zone. I think the I'll have it up on screen. It's from Gamora Island. I think it's from four thirty to five thirty, and it's probably specific. I want to say I don't know where CinemaCon takes place. They go by probably wherever CinemaCon's time is, so not sure where it takes place. Now what's going to happen here? Well, we'll probably get some hints for about every MonsterVerse movie so far. I Actually, I think everyone, we've gotten hints of some sort before trailer drops. Um, back in 2014, we used to get those like secret quick Monarch clips and audio recording stuff before the teaser and the main trailer dropped. I think they did that for pretty much every trailer. For Kong Skull Island, I remember back... I I remember then how we got uh, little glimpses. We had, like, a footage of Kong, I believe, slamming the helicopters and roaring and stuff for the trailer drop for that movie as well. King of the Monsters, although we didn't get much for the Comic-Con trailer. We did get some, I believe, though, honey. Like, I think we got a banner and a poster and stuff. And possibly i think around that time we also got the monarch website um we also got uh for every other trailer though we also got like little bits and be bits and stuff of each trailer and even the monsters roars this was a huge thing and the monster verse has had this tradition ever since the very first film of kind of hitting at it so if we're gonna get a trailer i expect within the week of or possibly before we'll probably get little sneak peeks of the trailer if they're going to follow the same concept as they have the rest of the MonsterVerse so far. So I expect a little previews of each movie and such. I don't see why they wouldn't do it that way. Uh, it just makes the most logical sense to me that they keep up with the tradition of the rest of the MonsterVerse movies. How else will we know? Well, I assume I'm going to somewhat get a hint during uh, from the Monarch website. I believe Godzilla is currently off the map. I don't know. People check that a lot. They do the trick where you can go in the future and stuff. We did find out December 8th that he was going to be in Brazil. Kind of. And although it wasn't a big thing that was really shown off. They didn't tweet like, oh my god, Godzilla's off the radio. Or, oh my god, he's heading to Brazil. Like they did for uh, uh, the Comic Con. Which I believe was a big way they revealed it. Saying Godzilla's heading towards San Diego. or I think it was San Diego Comic Con. Um, back in 2018. Um... They could easily just, you know, for that one, he showed up the same day they had that three-second clip. Not that that correlates at all. Maybe it was just coincidence, or maybe they kind of showed it. I do believe, though, they're going to use the Monarch website for this film heavily as well. Why not? Uh, they're still setting routes up and stuff for Godzilla. Uh, the website hasn't went through editing in a very long time. hasn't been touched much, but Godzilla's still swimming around. Um, we have all those other outposts left to be open uh i believe this film will probably open most of them if not all of them i think we'll definitely get to see skull island uh i think i think skull island is going to open up with this film 
I think that's one thing they're going to do with the Monarch website and such. They're going to open up Skull Island, and we're going to get information on Kong finally, possibly some other Titans, and maybe if, like, Rodan or Mothra in the movie, and pro- probably Godzilla. We'll get some new update stuff for them, too, give them more lore and stuff, help us get hyped. Um, obviously, we'll probably get a poster, a new one. Hopefully not the same one. That's basically the leaked poster thing from uh, the last day of shooting the movie in Hawaii, I think. Um, that's the kind of things I'd look out for, though. I'd look out for Monarch website, uh, for posters and such. And the first thing I said was just little audio th- and footage things being dropped. They'll be dropped on Twitter and Instagram. I don't know if they drop them anywhere else, but... It's pretty obvious to me. This has kind of been tradition so far. The Monarch website's kind of new, but we always get posters and stuff with new footage and stuff. They've done that for every movie, and a lot of movies do that anyways. So I'd look out for that. I'd say another big thing to look out for. There'll probably also be some magazines if a trailer's going to come out covering something by revealing a, some big images from the trailer or something. Uh, I don't know if we got any of that for 2014. I don't know about Kong, but I know 2019 we at least got, uh, I think, Empire before the Comic-Con trailer came out. They revealed three shots from the movie, I think, or two. The one with Millie Bobby Brown and Vera Farmiga, uh, you know, Emma Russell and Madison Russell staring at Ghidorah, but we didn't know it was Ghidorah at the time. Then Godzilla's uh, rebirth scene shooting Tom McBreath. I expect that. Uh, you guys might take this a lot of rambling, but I just already made my point how I think this will be the trailer date, and I'm just saying what to look forward to, just in case this is. Um, I said CinemaCon 2020, I'll put it up on the b- screen. Uh, maybe I'll put even Gamora Island's tweet out too, so you guys can read that for extra information. Um, yeah, especially, like I said to Adam recently, talking about give him a few more months, we're on home stretch. I would say, since they're doing an hour 45 minute panel, they reveal their upcoming blockbusters. Uh, I don't know when Scooby Doo comes out. That'll probably be a big thing on there. Uh, there's that uh, Christian Nolan movie. Uh, the guy who did the Batman movies. I th- I believe. I probably, I probably butchered his name. Uh, but uh, he, he has a movie coming out. Um, so I kept thinking Christian Bale, but that's, that is Batman. Um, so correct me if I'm wrong, if it's not Christian, Christopher Nolan or whoever. But he has a movie coming out. Wonder Woman's going to be a huge selling point. They're going to promote that. And like I said, this is going to be about two, three weeks after um, we get we were supposed to get the original release. Uh, like I said, it's going to be at a con too. So it's not. I don't really see place stuff like Quiet Place stuff affecting it. In fact, I could see it because Milan's coming out at that time. Uh, it could be very likely that they do that too because they could release the trailer online and release it with Milan so Chinese audience, audiences since Milan's definitely going to do great in China I don't see how it couldn't unless Disney just failed that badly there you go Godzilla trailer is going to be attached to it and China's been the big money makers for MonsterVerse and it definitely will build hype I think this would be a great time to reveal the trailer um, like I said I, I don't want it any time before March and definitely not early March um, I'm excited for the movie coming out the March and all, but since they already delayed it, you know, why well, I think they strategize is not too big of a marketing campaign. March is perfect. I believe Milan comes out in April, early, early April. So there you go. You could perfectly get the trailer, get all the footage out, get out for all the people online to see, and then for the general audience of China, America, because the movie's probably going to do pretty big. There you go. You can already start promoting it. Do a, I would do a pretty dark trailer, something of the sort, something to really get people hyped. Uh, I wouldn't show any of... I'm not going to say any of the leaks, but I wouldn't show any of that stuff in this trailer. Um, you can use Milan to really get hype built for this movie. I think that possibly might be their strategy. I think that works. Uh, Quiet Place stuff's going to be out for a while, so I doubt they would do that. Um, I doubt we'd get a trailer before this. I wouldn't be mad if they came out with a trailer in May. That would give it around a 2014 marketing time, which I think is a great amount of time to market it. Because then they could have a trailer in May... July with Comic-Con, or June, whichever month they're doing Comic-Con this year. I think it's usually July. And then you can have one last one around September, October. Or, like, they might do it here. They might have a trailer in March, July, then October-ish, and then TV spots. I definitely hope they don't go all out, out of it. Like, they don't go out of control with marketing. And 
I'm really excited to see what's going to happen. Uh, like I said, I definitely think this is going to be our trailer, guys. Uh, I know I said that in the four. Like, oh, the trailer's going to be confirmed, blah, blah, blah. Um, the film wasn't delayed at the time. And there were sources hinting at the fact trailer could come. And in a way, we did kind of get the trailer around the time that we thought we were going to. We just didn't get it. We got the leaked three-second footage. So we got our first footage. We didn't get a trailer. This time, I believe this has to be the trailer day. I don't see how it couldn't. I think it'd be a great time. You know, they're getting out there, revealing all their 2020 movies. And Godzilla vs. Kong, it'll give them about eight months to market it, which is much better than King of the Monsters, um, which was about 10 months of marketing, 11 months, something like that. Maybe more, maybe less. Um, I don't... I don't remember Kong Skull Island's marketing too much. Posters and stuff don't really build the hype the way with the general audience that a trailer does. Milan, perfect timing. Like I said, guys, as I said earlier, look out for all the big hints coming out. This is our trailer, I believe. I think we're going to get it finally. I think it's ready to go. So, what do you guys think? You guys think we're going to get the trailer March 31st with CinemaCon? Do you guys think it's just me false hoping do you think there's no way do you think this is good timing do you think it's bad personally i think it's great timing i think this will happen i think this is perfect timing i think it will come out long which works perfectly but what do you guys think please tell me down in the comments below if you enjoyed please as always share like subscribe and as always have a good day a great day great night i'm half asleep sorry peace